so a master um, marketer and master of direct mail, uh, Dick Benson, said that the word free was basically magical in advertising. And somehow today uh, it's unfashionable to use the word free. Um, yeah, people think that, oh, it's too salesy. It's too, yeah, the copy is too low level. I want my, my company to have a certain status. And they think that the word free cheapens their status. Um, let me tell you, nothing could be further from the truth and your customers will be happy to see any free offers that you might have, yeah? So um, this ad is by Mel Martin, again, another genius. And you can see that the word free is humongous, like uh, really. So if you opened a newspaper and you saw this, you would be attracted to this word. So it is very, um, very important sometimes to use one or two words in extremely big print, but the words have to be, uh, you know, they have to be interesting. You can't just put, you know, the word dinner, for example, or carpet. No, it, you know, it has to be something like the word free, or there are many other ones, but it has to it has to be something that attracts the attention of the consumer. Yeah. And you can see this in many ads. And also, this is an ad that I ran for my own for my own service, my own copywriting services and emails that sell. And you can see that the word sell is huge emails. That is also big, but not quite as big as the word sell. Everybody wants to sell. Yeah. And there is smaller copy here. Are you putting are you putting your customers straight to sleep with your emails? Work with me. And if I don't improve your emails, I'll give you your money back. So I have a warranty here. And so the but the, the important thing is that the word sell is huge. Yeah. And if something is if somebody's scrolling on LinkedIn, for example, and they see this big thing, they are going to be attracted to it. But if you have a cute uh, design, you know, with little um, illustrations and things, that's probably not going to attract anybody. And guys, nobody cares about your logo. Oh my goodness. Nobody gives a freak about your logo. Um, nobody cares about your company name. You know, nobody cares about your slogan. Oh, those silly slogans. Um, none of that sells. None of that measures well. Um, it's better to just talk to the customer about what they care about. And they don't care about your logo. Yeah. They certainly don't care about your slogan. Yeah. They care about their problems and the things that you can do to solve their problems. Yeah. So a big word that attracts the reader, that promises something to the reader, and then you can have still in big cup, in big, um, big letters, in big uh, type, uh, the headline, the, the actual headline, uh, or in here, for example, they have some big bullets that are, you know, a big promise. What never to eat on an airplane? Bills, it's okay to pay late. What never to keep in a safe deposit. So these are these are the promises that you're getting from this publication. Yeah. So you attract people, then you have the promises and the teaser copy from the bullets here. And then if people want to go more in depth, then they can go into the body copy. Yeah. And then the body copy is broken down into smaller sections with their own sub headlines here. You don't have a wall of text, a gray wall of text. It's all broken up by little headlines. And here on the right, you have also, you know, these three, like uh, there, it's kind of like an illustration of how the first page of a magazine looks like and that you have three of them. So you're getting three 
uh, copies or three um, monthly versions issues of the magazine okay so um, thank you guys uh, so I have a book for free top 10 um, reasons for successful advertising it's in the description get it for free bye bye